Hello friends, my name is Dr. Hamid Ibrahim Khokar. I am the Chief Physician and Director of Khokar Group of Clinic for Infertility and Sexual Disorders. Are you suffering from azospermia? What is the meaning of azospermia? Azospermia means you do not have any sperms at all when you undergo a test called as semen analysis. When you do semen analysis test once, twice, thrice or more than that and if you see that you have completely zero sperm count, this condition is called as azospermia. Now by term azospermia just means that it is zero sperm count. We really don't know what is the reason or what is the cause of this zero sperm count. So when you are suffering from azospermia and when you approach various IVF hospitals, you are advised that don't worry, we can extract the sperm through various aspiration techniques and surgery. So this is little uh, happy factor for the patient that hearing such a thing, they uh, feel happy that okay, this can be done, your sperms can be achieved uh, through aspiration or surgery. But beware. The reality is that if you are having a condition called as azospermia, we have to see what is the diagnosis, what is the reason, what is the factor which is causing the azospermia. Now the aspiration technique can only work if it is an obstructive azospermia. If it is non-obstructive azospermia, there are very very negligible chances to attain the sperm by aspiration techniques, extraction techniques and surgery. So before uh, going into such procedures, if your doctor in IVF hospitals tells you that we can extract the sperm, please question them, please ask them what is the reason for azospermia? I want to have a proper diagnosis first. Therefore, the right diagnosis of this condition is called as testicular biopsy or FNAC. Certain places I have seen that what they do is they do the TISA procedure that means it is called as testicular sperm aspiration. At least when you are aspirating the sperm, please send it for histopathology testing also. But many a times I have seen that the aspiration is done and the report is given as no sperms seen or very one to two sperms seen like this you receive reports but they do not give you the right diagnosis. So if the aspiration is done send the sample for histopathology so that we come to know the right diagnosis. Therefore in this video what I would like to talk about is the diagnostic factor called as testicular biopsy and when you do that if there is a condition called as sperm maturation arrest. This is what I wanted to discuss in this video. So before that I just wanted to give you a brief information of how to diagnose it. Now what is called as sperm maturation arrest. Now after the biopsy testing they give you a complete picture where the sperm maturation has stopped and the condition is called as sperm maturation arrest. Now by term this is easy to understand if you think little logically which means that sperm maturation arrest which means the sperm is not able to mature it is not able to mature which means it is getting halted in one of the stages of sperm maturation in short in general to for the common man to understand the various maturation processes of the sperm is like the primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte spermatid then comes the matured sperm. So this is in short to understand or you say stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. Okay, I am not going into a detailed uh, pathology, physiology related to the uh, sp sperm maturation. So in short, in order to understand what is sperm maturation arrest, you need to understand that the sperm passes through various stages of maturation and in one of the stage of the maturation sequence, it gets stopped or it gets halted. So this is called as sperm maturation arrest. Now in this condition, when you are suffering from this condition, generally you are 
advised by the IVF hospitals that we will try to do the surgery or we will try to aspirate the sperm and see whether we get few number of 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 sperms. But when you have a diagnosis of sperm maturation arrest, you come to know that majority of your sperms are not maturing. So then what is the use of uh, taking the, uh, doing the surgery or doing the aspiration? Majority, more than 90% or more than 95% are having sperm maturation arrest. The, the arrest is, I mean, the maturation sequence is arrested. So when you are having such a condition, you have to take a proper Ayurveda treatment wherein we have various therapies and medications and detoxification procedures by which the maturation sequence can be corrected and good number of sperms can be attained with our proper treatment. So once you have a good number of sperms, then you can uh, have a good number uh, through I uh, mean good chances for the pregnancy. So friends, just I wanted to make you understand that the sperm maturation arrest has wonderful treatment, beautiful result giving treatment, scientifically documented, clinically proved treatment in Ayurveda, which can correct the maturation sequences, which can correct the halt of maturation of the sperms by various medications, minerals, treatment, procedures and detoxification. So friends, let's meet in another video. Keep watching. Have a nice day.